Uh, he talks about how he practices that at five o'clock in the morning, and if he gets it wrong, he wakes up his family. <laughs> vlog today we are starting the second ever Cambridge saxophone down for sure YouTube channel uh, advent calendar saxophone advent calendar I did one uh, tw two years ago focusing on 24 saxophone players a different saxophone player each and every day and I'm going to do the same thing for you this year so make sure you are hitting that subscribe button so that you know exactly when the saxophone players come out there's also make sure you click the bell then you'll be notified as soon as a new video comes out if you say the word Boston in jazz circles you tend to get two answers you get one, Berkeley College of Music, and two, this guy, Mr. George Garzone. Now, for years, George Garzone has been the tenor player for the jazz trio group Fringe, but he's also better known, in a way, amongst most of us, for his work as an educator, because the likes of Bramford Marsalis, Joshua Redman, Melissa Aldana, Mark Turner, and countless others have all been taught by Mr. Garzone. He really is the saxophone guru, and there's a great video floating around on YouTube where he talks about what should happen to saxophone players in their first lesson. And if I can't put it in, it goes like this. The first thing I do in your first lesson is, I cut out your tongue. And I've got to say, I quote that a lot. Don't quote cut people's tongues out at all, but definitely as a saxophone player and as a teacher of saxophone, I find that so many players use far too much tongue. <laughs> So of course, being the 1st of December, this weekend we've got the trio with the kids. So it's time to watch some Christmas movies. But very quickly, before I finish this vlog, these vlogs are going to be shorter than my usual vlogs, mainly because I'm committing to do them every single day. So like I said, make sure you are subscribing. I want to talk about two things that I've got from George Garzo. Uh, these were both uh, things he spoke about in a masterclass he gave, I think in London. Um, gosh, it must be over 10, 15 years ago now. And the first one is what I have termed in the past silent saxophone practice. You can watch it up here. It was misinterpreted by a few people. Well, basically, what you're aiming to do is to hit the saxophone note. And the best best way I can describe this to people is it's like the the bike point on a clutch on a manual car um, you just want to be able to ride it and what you're aiming to do is to hit like 99% air and just 1% note That's probably not coming through. If it is, then it's probably a little bit too loud, but it's that kind of idea of just a tiny, tiny little bit of note. And George Garzone in a masterclass, which if I find it, I'll link to it below. Uh, he talks about how he practices that at five o'clock in the morning. And if he gets it wrong, he wakes up his family. The second thing is Garzone's uh, chromatic triadic approach, which is essentially taking two triads uh, that are chromatically different from each other and using different inversions, never repeating the same triad. Okay, so if you, you've got to play C and D flat major, that's fine, uh, but you want to avoid playing maybe C and G because they have 
the same notes. You want something that's chromatically there and also it would mess around with the inversions. It's not really something you want to bring into your playing on the bandstand as such, but it's a great practice tool. It's a great way of really opening out your ears when you're playing. So that's uh, definitely something to check out. And if I can find the link, I will link to it below. But well, actually, I'll link to it in the little bit on Cambridge Saxophone with all the playlists on. So yeah, here's uh, the first day of our Advent Challenge. It's a lot of work for me, so I do hope you'll uh, enjoy it. And I do hope, most importantly, that you'll go away and listen to these players. And, uh, and maybe if you can go and hear them play as well, it'd be fantastic. I'm going to try as much as I can to keep it to living players this time. Most of the guys on the last one have since, since passed, but check these players out. They're really, really important. And starting today uh, with George Garzo. <laughs> So thank you very much for watching today's vlog. As I say, a little bit shorter, make sure you check out my last vlog here. This was the first one two years ago today of the first uh, saxophone advent calendar. So check them out. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.